Can I add more in? Yeah. So it came down. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be down. It used to be all the way down here. Ah. And now all that is black. That's grown yeah, out. And it's starting to grow out at the top too. You know, we uh, we over here call that frosted. Call it frosted. Frosted. <laughs> so, so make sure I do it real good. That'll be a last until Halloween. All right. What's going on, everybody? Cigar Titan here once again with my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Titan fam! What up? <laughs> Brother Stogie, we have some cigars on the table. We have some coffee on the table. We'll have our coffee mugs soon. It looks like we forgot those, but they're coming. They're yes. coming. Yes. Where did we get the cigars from today? So, um, we'll tell you that shit when we come back. But y'all was like, hey, Cigar Titans, yes. yeah. where the parent videos at? Yeah. Well, it's here. Stop yelling at us, okay? <laughs> we asked about the videos. Don't tell us what to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're here. Coffee pair video coming up with special sticks. Right for y'all. Special sticks. Special sticks. <laughs> you ready to get started? Let's give it to them. So welcome back everybody. Like we said at the beginning of the episode, we are going to do a cigar and coffee pairing today. Yes. And both of these come from different, I don't know, sponsors, I guess, or fans of the channel. Nah, different family members of the cigar community. There you go. Okay. Family members. That so works. The coffee comes from another, no, no other than chicka, chicka, chicka. Modern Nine <laughs> Coffee. Shout out, King Ray, you know what I'm saying, for the Modern Nine Coffee. We love coffee, cold, hot. Warm, kind of hot. Oh, it comes from cold. King Ray. Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah, he, Modern Night Coffee. They connected. Okay, all yeah. right, there you go. So, shout out. Um, let's see. The sticks are very special sticks. So, these sticks come from uh, Richard Hines Jr. He was from the NOLA Cigar Crew. Okay. We, we met off of, uh, off of Instagram. So, they have their own signature series of sticks. And Signature series of sticks, right? The Three triple S's. S's. <laughs> triple S. And so we go. Uh, he didn't really send us any details on the sticks. So this is going to be a full cigar titan review on these sticks. So what is the size of the sticks that he sent? Because it all looks relatively similar, and the bands, with the exception of the colors. Mm -hmm all look relatively the same. So that one looks like more of like a Connecticut almost. Yep. And looks about maybe what, six, six? Could be a six, 58 to 60. Uh-huh, yep. about 60 ring gauge. Okay. This is more of like a Habano, maybe Habano Maduro almost. Looks like a Habano, yeah. So probably a Habano wrapper right there. Let's see. So let me, let me show you what we got here. Ugh. So these are the sticks that were sent to us, boom, right there. You know what I'm saying, nice. Has a little signature at the bottom of the, of the foot. Got the shoulder up there. Uh -huh. Nola Cigar Crew. And we got these other two right here that he sent us. I'm saving one of these for the wife. To my wife, I was gonna save her one. And this one is a signature series. This you wanna be a, allowed back over in the stogie and then you gotta make sure she you know stays saying? happy. You know what I'm saying? Apple Cigar, Crown Royal Apple right there. This one right here is a cognac collection. Oh, okay. Okay, cognac collection right there. Boom, got the purple band right there. So thank you, Richard Hines. Connecticut for these. Gold Edition. That's what it says. That's what it says. Oh, you know, what, what, what does mine say? Maduro Gold Edition. So it is a Maduro. Okay, okay got it. So let's go ahead and get these fired up. That's so right. we are drinking the Nicaragua Blend from Modern Nine Coffee. Boom. So that's. Boom, right there. Nice signature black bag right there. Nicaragua. So on all their bags, they have the tasting notes. Yes. On their coffee. Yes. So you could better blend your coffee. So we actually got a few bags from Modern Nine. Yes. How many bags did we get from them? A few. A few. <laughs> we got a few. <laughs> a few. And all of them, you know, have different flavor notes in their coffee and everything. But when we were going through and we were talking about this, I think it was last week, uh -huh. when we were looking at all the bags, we you picked this one out of the bunch. He said the flavor notes <laughs> of this particular uh, coffee, and it just it hit all the right notes for us. I right, think. and that's because this one is a, a medium dark roast. Yep, with chocolate, 
hazelnut, graham cracker complex, and a smooth finish. Yep. So, Cigar Titan got a little cream in his. A little cream, but I did have some of it. I sipped on it a little bit before I put the cream in, so I had it straight black. It's straight black in honor of June of Juneteenth. And we're drinking this chilled. Yes. Yes. It tastes like a, a dark chocolate cracker, like almost a chocolate cup of cracker, almost. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I have a sweet cream in mine, uh -huh. um, but I definitely get a milk chocolate, and that could be a little bit of a hint of the cream there, but I get a milk chocolate flavor with the coffee mm. and that graham cracker. I'm not getting too much right now of the hazelnut, the hazelnut, but it is a very smooth finish. And I, I think I even mentioned in the kitchen when we were prepping this, mm -hmm. when I was drinking it black, that this did not have a strong bite to it at all. It was no. very smooth black. Not at all. So, no, I know some of you are asking, hey, so is the coffee gonna change the profile of my cigar? If you add stuff to it, of course. You yep. know what I'm saying? So he had a little sweet cream to it. So of course I got the dark chocolate with the graham cracker. He got a milk chocolate. So it might be because of the milkiness of the creamer that he yep. put in there. So that's gonna change the flavor profile a little bit. That's why I always like to start off with black coffee so I can get the true notes out of both of them and then just go from there. So again, the cigar is lit up. So Brother Stogie, what were your initial thoughts from the aroma of this cigar before you light it up? Let's see, so this is a Maduro selection. This is real, so this is not even earthy. This is like real, like hardcore barnyard. Okay. Like you go to the San Diego Petting Zoo and you go to a little exhibit with the goats and shit. That's, <laughs> that's what you're gonna get right And I there. think that's exactly the same scent I was getting off of this. It's kind of a barnyard mm -hmm. slash manure type smell. Exactly. And so. again, for those of you guys out there who have not heard Brother Stogie and I, talk about what manure is we're not talking about a pile of feces <laughs> right. no, we're talking about the nice compost stuff that you get right. at home depot that's got all the nice beautiful elements in it you yep. use to grow all your petunias <laughs> and magnolias <laughs> you know that's what you use that for so with a dry drag it's like a dry fruit almost like a oh shit almost like a like a dry apricot or dry apple or something like that hmm not bad okay so the initial flavor notes that i get out of this cigar are the smoke tastes very dry and almost like a salted cracker taste to the cigar with some hay notes and kind of a dark coffee taste to it so the retro hill on this one almost get nothing from it okay Okay, um, I was surprised by that, but off the drag off of it, I don't know, it's like a, like a bitter earth almost. So I'm assuming that's going to change up once we get past the, the first okay. third. So usually cigars that start off with a little bit of a bitter taste mm. have a tendency to fade out pretty quickly. Once you get down around a half to an inch of the cigar, it usually burns out pretty quickly. Okay. So back to the coffee. So, like I said, we got we got a few bags of modern nine coffee. So we have so that's the Nicaragua blend with the graham cracker and all the chocolate and hazelnuts. We have a we have two on my side. This is a Guatemalan blend. This is a light medium roast coffee as well with chocolate and black currant. You know what black currant is? Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what black currant is? Me. <laughs> 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 nope. I'm take that as a no. <laughs> but we go find out. Don't trip. <laughs> and let's see, this one back here is a Ethiopia Yirgish Effect. A what? <laughs> <laughs> Ethiopia. Sure. Mm hmm. Yirgashefe? Yirgashefe? Y'all yeah. uh, wanna try? Take it out. Look. Oh, that's what we struggle with <laughs> on a daily basis. So y'all go ahead you and got chef that. Ethiopia, you're a chef. Alright. Well, I... And this one is, <laughs> let's see, this is a light medium roast as well with sweet tangerine, floral flavors, smooth and light body. So this is, I think, out of all the bags that we got, one of the ones that I'm most interested in. 
mm -hmm. because the flavor notes on this one are really kind of out of the norm, I would say, in terms of what you would expect to get out of a coffee. So the blend is called a Kenya Double A. Uh, this is a light to medium roast. And the flavor notes on this one are actually raspberry, lemon lime, and a passion fruit note with wow. citrus and floral aromatics. That one you'd have to drink without some cream or see, see what that produces. For sure. Because that, that sounds super interesting. I don't know that I've ever had a coffee with similar flavor notes. So I'm really very interested. Oh, shit. Can not go the bag over? Right. To try that one. And then finally, what we got over here is the Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. And this is a medium light roast with exotic fruit notes mm -hmm. and then fine buttery spice finish. Okay, buttery spice? Buttery spice, buttery oh. spice. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's summer. <laughs> what is that? Did I react on camera? <laughs> Jumped on me and shit. <laughs> anyway, so. It's, it's hot as shit. <laughs> Damn, I hate summertime, bro. So, let's see. So this is, so this cigar right here, flavor notes are very minimal. Nothing on, nothing on the retro hill, light earth. So we need to pair this with something, right? Yeah. So you don't want to pick uh, a roast that has, because I have, I have some from Starbucks that have like real earthy, hardcore, hardcore earth. Like their Sumatra is very earthy. Right. So you don't want to pair earthy with earthy. At least I don't. So me, this Nicaragua blend that has the hazelnut, the chocolate, the graham cracker, to balance that is going to balance out this earthiness, and so that way I can be able to smooth cruise through this big ass cigar in one sitting. All right, well, you want to get into the first third, and then we'll come back and give an update? Yeah. So welcome back, guys. So we are just getting into the second third right now. It actually looks like mine may be going a little quicker than yours, but I did light up just before you did, so that could be part of the reason why. Mm. Um, Performance-wise on my cigar, cannot complain. I mean, the construction of the cigar thus far has been flawless. As you guys can see here, still got a nice long ash on it. Pretty good burn all the way around. No complaints. In terms of flavor transitions, mm -hmm. not, not much new to report. It's a lot of what I was getting off of the initial light with the addition of maybe like a barnyard just more of a pronounced sweet hay taste that I'm getting out of the cigar with still a little bit of that coffee, mm. but there hasn't been much in terms of a flavor transition between the first and the second third. Okay. What about you? Let's see, so on this Maduro uh, cigar, um, so mine, I'm gonna see if it'll even itself out. Mine's getting a little uh, uneven right there. Like, you know, so everybody doesn't always have the same experience as a next, so. Same ass right there, a little messed up right there. I'm not gonna correct it just yet, but I will in a second. So it has a real like Maduro-esque features to it. Okay. Like I can still taste the earthiness. It's not so earth, earthy and barnyardish as it was at the beginning, so it's like real mellow right now. This, this kind of reminds me of a, like a recreation stick. Okay, what about the bitter taste? Uh, the bitter taste is gone. Okay. Like it's, it's real soft earthy tones. Um, Almost get like a, almost like a like a like a nutty taste to it. Almost real 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 soft though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, nothing too enhanced, nothing too fancy with the flavor transitions. Like real nice recreation steak. Something you take out to the the range. Yeah, or the golf course or something golf like course, that. Golf course, shooting range. Yeah, for sure. Grill some shit up. There you go. Speaking of grilling some shit up, this weekend's Father's Day. Yes. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> So, hey, if you're new to the channel, yep. hey, go back last year and check out that Father's Day video. Yeah. <laughs> Which way right. my head's supposed to go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ready? One, two, three. Wrong way. Look, Shit. Look, look like I'm having a stroke. Hey, <laughs> white people with a rhythm. Shit. I told you which way to go. Shit. But anyway, go check out that video. I mean, that was a nice heartfelt video about the kids. Yep. I told y'all we won't get all emotional get a little this year. History. Yeah. On our, our our fathers and our background and things like yeah, that. Yeah, we, we had our we had our shit all set up. Yep. Got pictures of the family. Got pictures of the dad. His little little cigar type, mini cigar type pictures all right there. Go check it out. But this weekend, it's Father's Day, and uh, I like to treat myself for Father's Day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to I invite the bro over. Uh, you know, he, he fathers three dogs over here. He you know, so dad is a dad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so, <a dad. laughs> so, 
I invited the bro over, so I'm gonna go ahead and I, I, I ordered me a new grill. Right, right. Came, got a new 22 inch Weber kettle. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited. I'm, I'm gonna have two grills fired up at the same time. I'm excited. So I'm gonna have a pool pork roast. You guys are all missing out if you have not had Brother Stogie's barbecue. I, I see that like in some kind of neon on the side of your own restaurant. It just says Brother Stogie's barbecue, and you serve barbecue, you serve short ribs. You got the, the cornbread, and then you got a nice humidor in the back where you're selling cigars, too. Yeah, right? Brother, so you bop, 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 barbecue, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, like a cigar nice. barbecue place. Yeah, ideas. You can, don't go taking our ideas. <laughs> no, nah, nah. if I see one, I'm going to get you. But anyway, so yeah, so we will fire it up. So I'm going to have a brisket. Uh, I have a pork a pork butt roast. So I make some pulled, some pulled pork, throw some chicken in there, some links. Yep. I make my famous baked beans. What I'm gonna do is, Those beans are good. I'm gonna take the beans, and while my roast is cooking, okay. my pork roast, I'm gonna put it underneath. Oh. So the juices from the pork roast gonna drip in my beans. Drip. Gonna drip in my oh. beans, right? <laughs> then you bring whatever you want, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Don't bring that Karen potato salad though, you know what I'm saying? They know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> bring some damn food. Be some favorite for potato salad. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's kind of what we do. I think I'm going to go hit up my boy at um, Classic Supply Company over at Victoria Gardens. Treat myself to a nice hat. Okay. He sells, uh, he sells hats, clothes, knives, wallets for our bearded, bro- our bearded brothers. Yep. He's got, you know, beer balm and beer combs. So I'm going to go treat myself to a little Father's Day box up okay. there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, happy Father's Day to you. Appreciate that, man. Three, three damn kids. You know, happy Father's food. Day to all the dads out there. Yes. Happy Father's Day. Watching Water us, smokes. helping us grow. Yep. Cowboyism. Yep, yep. Darshan, which is your dad, too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Got our and buddies. Everybody else. Yeah, we got our buddy Cigar <laughs> Show, Tim. Yes. We got Kyle from Dad Smoking yes. Cigars. Louis Quavis. Louis Quavis. Happy Father's Day, there my man. Uh, let's see. LCC, Luxury Cigar Club, Chris, yep. Luxury Cigar Club, dot yep. com. Yep. Yes. Yep. Happy Father's Day to y'all. And uh, yeah, anybody we miss, y'all know we know who y'all are. Oh, hold on. Our boys from Culebra Lounge. Yeah. Rob and Richie. Yep. And Matt. And Matt. Yes. Happy Father's Day to y'all. Yep. We appreciate that. Stick together. A village of fathers. Man, can't go wrong. Remember, it takes a village. So if you got a village, we ain't got a father. Be that father to that village. Because your kids. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So your kids can see this. You can father everybody else, including them. Super dad. Super dad. Don't let nobody go without a dad. Throw a cape on there. They need that. There. Throw a cape on there. You know, you know what? Because let's see. So the past, what? It's going on 15, 15 years now. I've been involved in you know public service jobs. Yes. You know, so 12 years working in the jail. Now I'm doing something else out in the community. Um, and it's still the common denominator of families that kind of steer the wrong direction are missing fathers. 100% agree. And I'm in a total different profession. You know, my, my, my profession now is probably what led them to what I used to do. Yeah. But now I get them when, when they're young, I have to work with all the families. Right. You know, but still, the dads ain't there. I even, get a, chance to, I even get a chance to call them this time. Hey, I'm looking for you. Where you at? They don't call. Don't be a deadbeat father. No. Don't be a deadbeat father. Don't be a weekend. Handle your responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Fight for your kids. You can. We have rights. Uh, Know what they are. Trust me. Don't let bad people do evil stuff and take you from your kids. Fight for your damn kids. Because trust me, at some point, they're going to feel it. All Mm -hmm. right? So. Makes all the difference. It does. Enough of all that. I don't want to be emotional. I promise I wasn't going to do that. We're going to go ahead and carry on <laughs> okay. with this cigar review and coffee pairing. All right. So you want to get into the second, third? We'll come back. Uh-huh. Okay. Pinky's up. All right. All right. So we're back and we're getting into the final third. Brother Stogie, what are your thoughts on the second third of the cigar? So nothing. Okay. Same as the first third. Yep. So no no major transitions. Um my stick is, you know, it's doing something. It's like mutating on me, you know. <laughs> but so, uh, boom, there, there, psh, psh, there you go, boom. So the ash is strong. Like it's a, it's a nice, consistent built stick. I'm having a few issues, but nothing major. My I haven't had to tap my ash yet. Okay. It was looking good over there, but um, I did just relight though. You did relight? I did. I did do one little touch up there just to make sure, uh, cause 
during the break, we were kind of skimming through the Talk Instagrams shit. and talking shit and stuff. Right. Um, and so I wasn't paying as much attention to it. So I did touch it up a little bit. But I suspect that had I not really been not focusing on it, the consistency of the cigar would still be the same. Exactly. I mean, these were one of those sticks where I'm kind of glad I got coffee. Yeah. So, because you don't have many transitions in this stick, um, you can go back to your coffee and still get the same notes out of the coffee that you had from the beginning. Yep. So I still get my, my nice, bitter, dark chocolate. Um, still get the graham cracker notes in this. Uh, and I'm able to enjoy both without canceling each other out. Yeah. So flavor notes on this one, still the same. Very much like Brother Stogie was saying. Not a lot in terms of flavor transi transitions. It's been a very <laughs> consistent, I swear there's no alcohol in here. It's been a very consistent smoke from the first initial light all the way down now getting into the final third. Now take off the band here. Self-adhesive, perfect. No damage done to the cigar, just the way we like it. Uh, comes off real easy, but very consistent. Still the barnyard, sweet hay. Now the retro hail has gotten a little harsher, but I'm wondering if that has to do with the fact that the smoke is heating up a little bit more now mm -hmm. that we're getting down towards the final third of the cigar. So the retro hail is a little bit harsher than it was initially. Okay. But still all around a good smoke. Okay. So I agree. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. No cigar crew. Decent stick. So we got final third to get through here. Mm -hmm. We'll come back and we'll give him our final thoughts. We'll finish y'all up. Oh man, the first monster I see, I'm gonna sneak up behind him, whip out my wand and shoot my magic all over his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear yourself when you say these things? Yep, stay tuned. We're not gonna, we're not gonna finish him off. We're just gonna finish up. Okay. Is that, that could mean something else entirely depending on who's watching the video. Here you go again. <laughs> so we're gonna finish it up. Okay, whatever. We're gonna wrap it up. Yes, well that might mean something different too. Doesn't anyone have a, a rod of resurrection? Because if you've got one, I need it bad. <laughs> Get in here with your rod and give it to me. Okay, you need to say these things in your head before you say them out loud. Touche! We're going to finish the video when we come back. All right? Be stay very true. specific. Right? <laughs> We're just wrapping up the final third now. Brother Stogie, final thoughts. So, um, I had some light issues at the end. The last third I had to keep relighting. Um, I got ashed. You did. I did. Right, right. on the shoulder. So y'all saw my my ass was starting to flower a little bit, so I tried to keep it going. My ass got about that long, you know what I'm saying? But it was right on my shoulder. <laughs> um, other than that, performance, I think it was a good stick. Like I said, it was a recreation stick. Yeah. Um, nothing outstanding about it as far as like flavor transitions or anything about that. Um, real subtle the whole way through. Real subtle? I said subtle, right? Subtle. I think you said subtle, but. I said subtle? Okay, yeah. well, subtle. I know what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's definitely a Maduro-esque cigar. Um, I'm good with it. Okay. So final thoughts here. Uh, flavor transitions have remained very much the same all the way through. It did pick up a little bit of a nutty flavor towards the end. Okay. I did have to touch it up again, but that's because we were bullshitting and doing our typical off-camera shenanigans. Right, right. So I did have to touch it up, but performance for the cigar for the most part, all the way through has been very good. So can't complain. I agree 100%. Brother Stogie, this is definitely the kind of recreational cigar you take along with, you know, with you when you're doing something, you're shooting, you're, you know, maybe you're hiking or camping yeah, or yeah. you're barbecuing or you're out on the golf range or something like that. Perfect stick for that. So if that After sounds finished like- finish hiking. Don't smoke while you hike. So uh, yeah, so shout out to the wife too. Never took, yep. came back from Miami, she's been, Dibbling and dabbling in cigars. Dibbling and dabbling. Now she thinks she's the queen of tapping that ass. <laughs> so we had a little tapping that ass contest. Who's the king of tapping night. that ass? I'm the king of tapping that ass. You know what I'm saying? So she, she got me last night. She was smoking, uh, what was she smoking? The Long Live the King by Cowell Cigars. Okay. That's a great cigar. And I had the, uh, I had the proper Maduro. Who makes the proper Maduro? The FQ proper Corona Gorda. Yes, FQ proper. Yeah, so that was that was a good state as a Maduro. That was a very good state. But yeah, so she's trying to like become like you know Queen Brother Stogie wife and shit. Queen so, Stogie. Queen Stogie. Queen, Queen Brother Stogie. You know, <laughs> Queen so, Sister Stogie. Right. 
Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to her. Getting her uh, lips wet with the sticks. Smoking all my good shit. Lips wet with the sticks. Man, right. We, we come up with some good stuff on here. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we hope you guys enjoyed uh, the cigar pairing video. Like we said, check out Modern Nine Coffee. Yep. They have a slew of different, different blends, blends yep. of coffee that can fit every cigar need you can think of. Link them down below. Yes. Along with Nola Cigar. Yes, you can find them on Instagram at Nola Cigar Crew on Instagram. Um, check them out. They actually have an event coming out. You That's know what right. you know what Nola means? I do not. Nola means New Orleans. New Orleans. Well, yes. that makes sense because where's their event? New Orleans. <laughs> that so is believe, right. So I believe it's the week September 23rd to the 25th or 6th. Okay. They have a huge outside event going on, and okay. we've been invited to go out there and check them out. Yeah. So if you're in the New Orleans area, yes. I think I'm saying that right. New Orleans. Check them out. So, um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hope you enjoy. We enjoy all the comments, all the love, especially on our past videos. We try our best to go Even back. Even haters, you know? Bring, bring on the comments. You know what I'm saying? Bring on the comments. We, we, <laughs> we try our best to, to comment on every single comment. Even the comments we don't want on there. But we still comment on those to show you that we care. And we love y'all <laughs> still. You know what I'm saying? So if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. Why? Because we likes our likes. We likes our likes. Hit that subscribe button so you get it so you get noti so you will get a notification. <laughs> Somebody's getting a notification. It's that Maduro. It was, it was, it had, Somebody's gonna get this I, notification. I had, I had a little kick at the end. Why not? So, why not it be them? Right? So, so you get new notification every time Scar Titans put up a new video for y'all. That's right. Right? So, like always, thank you for tuning in. Um, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. Right? We rock. Dads mm -hmm. matter. Um, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And open on Father's Day, it's going to be smooth, baby. That's right. See you guys next week.